What up guys? This is PJ and welcome to my channel. So, alamin natin guys kung itong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is still worth buying ngayon 2020. Let's find out! So, before we start, let's unbox this Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So, pagkabukas natin ang phone, we'll see the phone itself. So, let's put it aside first. Then, may kita natin yung 15 watts na charger na adapter niya. And then, we have the AKG earphones. And then, here, we have the USB charging cable. Then, we also have the USB-A to USB-C adapter. And, sa likod ng box, is may kita tayo ng isa pang box. Nandito yung SIM injector tool. And, we also have a clear case. Hindi siya yung jelly case. Clear case siya. Hard case siya. Hindi tayo tinipid ni Samsung dito. And then, we have the quick start guide, the warranty card, how to use, and then a free SIM card. So, this is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Actually, itong variant na to is 128GB na storage and 8GB of RAM. And nirelease yung phone na to last March 2019. However, itong color na to was released late last year, around mid-year, I think July or August. What I have here is the Prism Silver. Itong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is protected by Gorilla Glass 6 sa front niya, yung glass niya dito. And then, yung glass niya sa likod is protected by Gorilla Glass 5. And then, yung frame niya is made out of aluminum. Ang chipset nitong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is Exynos 9820 which is equivalent to Snapdragon 855 chipset. Itong phone na to is IP68 water and dust resistant na siya. So, pwede nyo siyang ilubog sa water ng 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. But personally, ako takot ako sa phone ko na mabasa. So, hindi ko siya gagamitin sa water even though may IP rating na siya. Personal choice ko lang naman yun. But, this phone can be protected kahit nasa water. So, this phone has 5 cameras. That's right, 5. So, we have 3 at the back and 2 at the front. So at the back, we have a 12 megapixels na wide, 12 megapixels for telephoto, and 16 megapixels for ultra wide. And at the front, we have 10 megapixels na wide and 8 megapixels for depth sensor. For me personally, I don't get the depth sensor na camera. Kasi pwede naman yun sa software na ayusin yung pag-blur ng background. So I don't think there's a need na maglagay na another camera for depth sensor. So, on the left, we'll see the power button, and then on the top, we'll see the microphone and the hybrid SIM tray. And on the right, we'll see the power button and the Bixby button. And at the bottom, we'll see the speaker grills, the microphone, the USB-C port, and the 3.35mm headphone jack. Overall, I really like the look of the phone because it's glass sa sa likod. Ayun nga lang, medyo fragile nga lang siya. So, we need to put a casing. Actually, yung casing na kasama dito, medyo hindi pa rin siya ganun ka-protected. Feeling ko, protection lang siya from scratches. And also, fingerprint magnet din siya. So, we really need to put a casing. So, careful din kayo guys. Kasi since this is glass, mabagsak nyo lang siya. Basag agad yan. Very, very fragile. So, we need to use a strong casing like what I have right now. The UAG casing. So, I think this is almost 1,000 pesos or over 1,000 pesos, depende siguro sa design. So, we need to make sure na very sturdy yung casing na ilalagay natin. So, kahit mabagsak siya, medyo hindi tayo masistress ng onte na mawabasag yung phone. Kasi yung replacement ng glass sa likod ng phone is more than 6,000, probably 8 or 10,000. So, makakabili na kayo ng phone noon. So, better be careful. So, what I like about the phone is yung fingerprint scanner niya wala sa likod. In-display fingerprint scanner na siya. So, kasi, hindi masisira yung full glass aesthetic niya. So, wala siyang bilog dito. Branding lang na Samsung yung makikita niyo. So, yung fingerprint scanner niya is nandito na sa harap. So, there. So, maganda siya kasi 
ngayon, very practical na siya na hindi nasisira yung aesthetic ng phone. Pagkahawak mo yung phone, nandito na agad. Pintot ka lang, hindi ka na mag reach dito sa likod. Which is good. Ayun talaga yung preferred placement ko, nandito sa screen. And also, what I like about the phone is yung screen niya. Yung screen niya kasi is not just Super AMOLED or AMOLED. It's dynamic AMOLED display. So, mas malinaw siya sa Super AMOLED. So, yung screen nitong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is 6.4 inches yung screen. And then, 88.9 yung screen to body ratio niya. Kung mapapansin nyo, very thin yung bezels niya. Ang mapapansin nyo lang nakakasira sa aesthetic ng screen niya is yung dual punch hole camera. For me, hindi siya practical kasi nasisira yung aesthetic ng camera na full screen display siya. Okay lang yung isa lang yung punch hole niya. Pero ito kasing Samsung S10 Plus, dalawa yung punch hole camera niya. I don't think there's a need to put another camera for depth sensing. So, yung battery nitong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is 4,100 mAh. And may kasama siyang nakabundle na charger na 15 watts fast charging. I mean, 15 watts fast charging? Are you serious? May ibang phone dyan, 30 watts, 21 watts, 15 watts for this caliber ng phone? Come on, Samsung. You can do better than that. 15 watts, kung mid-range phone lang yan eh. This is high-end phone. 15 watts isasama nyo sa bundle ng charger. Come on. You can do better than that. Also, what I like about the phone is may feature siyang reverse wireless charging. So, pwede nyo ipatong lang yung phone nyo dito and magcha-charge siya using your phone. However, not all phones are going to work sa wireless charging kasi hindi naman lahat may wireless charging option. Yung mga mid-range phone dyan, wala namang ganong option. Mostly flagship caliber lang yung mga phone na ganun. But I like the feature na meron yun. It can help especially mataas yung caliber ng battery niya, 4,100 mAh. So it can charge, ma probably makakatulong, makakasurvive ka na onti. If you can charge your other phone uh, at least 15%, it can be a big help. So I'll show you guys the Antutu benchmark right here. So, do I think na worth it pa rin bilhin tong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus ngayon 2020? My answer is a definite yes. Kasi kayang-kaya pa rin makipagsabayan itong phone na to sa iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro. So, kayang-kaya nito yung camera pa lang nito, maganda na yung quality. And yung UI ng Samsung is very light to use, very user-friendly siya. And tingnan nyo naman, ang ganda-ganda. Yun nga lang, medyo hindi na uso yung placing ng camera niya kasi yung uso ngayon is yung square na so ginaya ng mga manufacturers yung camera design ng Apple so makikita nyo na most of the designs ng phone ngayon 2020 is yung may square na dito hindi na yung ganito but overall I really like the aesthetic kitang kita nyo naman eh malayuan pa lang alam nyo ng very very pricing phone na to so, yung original price ng nirelease tong Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus is 55,990 pesos. Pero if you're going to buy it second hand, you can buy this phone for 25,000 to 29,000 pesos. So imagine, after a year, half of the price na na slash sa price na talaga. So imagine 26,000 to 29,000 pesos, you can buy this phone, one year old phone siya, and very, very smooth pa rin yung paggamit ng phone na to. And if you can check this out, see how beautiful this phone is. Yun nga lang, hindi na updated yung camera module niya. But that's fine. Hindi naman sa design niya. What we're looking at is the performance. So if you're looking for a phone na performance yung hanap mo, I think it's a smart move na mag-antay kayo ng one year to buy a one-year-old phone na top of the line. Kasi that's what I did. Kaya meron ako Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and ganung range lang namin siya nabili. So guys, do you think this phone is worth buying ngayon 2020? Let me know on the comment section below. Thank you so much guys for watching and if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hit that notification bell so you will be notified whenever I make a new video. And guys, reminder to always sanitize your hands, wear your face mask, and practice social distancing. This is BJ and I'll see you on the next one. See ya! Yung phone na to is IP68. Bye. Just for 30 minutes.
Pero ako kasi, <coughs> hayop. So, sa likod, we have 12 megapixels na wide. 12 megapixel. <laughs> hayop. And we also have face unlock. So, let's try. Ay, ang papagay ako. <laughs> no match. So, ang battery. Ang battery. <laughs> But I like the fit. The fit, sure. Ah, <laughs> you. <laughs>